Hello everybody, Gabriel here, and welcome to Game Dev Tycoon! So, this is a game that you develop games in. So, this is a business experience where you can you can build games, or you can run in um, conventions, you can participate uh, into all kinds of things, you can make contracts, everything like that you can do into this game development simulator. So yeah, so this game is also inspired by Game Dev Story into the iPhone market. But yeah, so here we are, into the game. So we'll just start a new game here because that's... I was testing the game out to see if it was recording, but it took a while to actually manage to make it work. But yeah, now we succeeded. So there we go. Welcome to Game Dev Tycoon. In this business simulation, you have been transported back in time to start your very own game development company right the, at the beginning of the PC revolution. In the next 30 years, you can build your dream company, create best-selling games, gain fans, and become the leader of the market. So there we go. That's what we're going to become. Before you start your adventure, you have to give your upcoming company a name. That's already an hard step. I'm bad at names. So let's see, company name. Hmm, I might have an idea. Um, yet other. Not sure that's going to fit in. Yet other. Gaming company. We're going to be very original. Come. Oh no, we don't have enough space. Uh, yet other gaming company. <laughs> that is cheap. Uh, yeah, no, we're not going to do that. That is way too cheap. Um. Okay, I have no idea what to name it. Okay. Gaming. Hmm. Gaming birds? <laughs> I don't know. I did not think that far ahead. Uh. Gaming. I was about to write kittens, but now that's not going to work. Come on, head. Gaming giants. Whatever. Gaming giants. We're going to be the giants of the gaming market. Player name. I'm just going to name myself by my own name. Right. We are male. Let's put some blonde hair on this guy because I'm blonde. Just going to be me, whatever. Then we'll just I'm just give something, yeah, just like that. It's gonna be fine. All right, let's go. Let's start gaming giants. If you want to review the tutorial messages, then you can go in the help menu. All right, cool. Uh, okay, we have saving as well into there. Loading and creating games by pressing escape. All right, cool. Congratulations! You've just started your very own development company. At the moment, your office is in a garage. Well, I guess that's the way to start. And you are the only employee. But don't worry, many successful businesses have started out this way. Let's start developing your first game. Close this message. And then click anywhere. Hi. Right, cool. Achievement unlocked. Support a young startup. Buy the game. Ah, cool. Yeah, I heard this game was like pirated. Like 93% of this game of this game's download were pirated downloads, which is a damn shame. Shame on you guys if you pirated this game. It's eight dollars, come on. Alright. Before development you can begin Yeah I won't read all the text, I'm sure you guys can read that by yourselves. Uh okay. I have to give a name to my game and I can select which graphic technology to use. All right. So the main difference between this game and Game Dev Story, which is uh, the game that this game is inspired on, um, the main difference is, is that this game has more uh, has more realism, basically. So it's more a strategic uh, approach to it. Okay, your options are limited, but you, if you have a bit of experience, you will be able to unlock new options. I was, I was about to read unlock new weapons. That would be terrifying. You can unlock weapons to make games. That's how the world works. Alright, first game. What do we do for our first game? Um, 
Okay. Let's start with a Mega Man remix. <laughs> remix, yeah. Or all Mega Man. We're going to make all the f major franchise. Well, of course, I'm not going to name all my games similar to the franchises, but this time we're going to, to do that. Mega. Let's see. There is Man. So maybe. Okay, that's normal. That's a normal name, but Mega Kid. Whatever. That's going to be uh, space, I guess. <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Uh, wait. RPG adventure. Um, action space game, maybe. I guess that could be a start. Platform. Okay, G64 or PC. Yeah, let's start with PC. It has a lot of market share. Oh, wait. Actually, we don't need to have a license. But it does cost a lot. Yeah, we're going to save up money in the beginning. Just to be sure that we don't end up wasting any. Because if we end up being bankrupt in our garage, we're not going to be very successful, obviously. Alright, text base or 2D graphics. Well, since I didn't afford to make it on a console, we're going to make some good graphics. Of course, we're into the 80s, so... Not all indie gamers, all indie game devs start with 2D graphics, that would be terrible. Uh, Alright, game development runs through three stages. At the beginning of each stage, you can decide what areas in the game you want to focus on. Okay, cool. Think about what areas are important. For game and decrease the focus on areas you think are less important. Okay, we have the description into the help menu if we need to. Oh, okay, I need to decide on. Okay, I get it now how that works. Okay, so gameplay. It's going to be quite high because it's it's in space. We need some good gameplay. Story, not that much. It's going to be an arcade kind of game. That's what I want to start with. Engine, we're going to level that up a little bit. And maybe just a little bit more of... No. Maybe a bit more on gameplay. Like so. Alright. That'll be good. Alright, so here we are. Making your first game. Game development has now started. Thank you, game. Okay, we'll generate points when we develop. Game points are divided into design points and technology points. The more points you generate, the better the game will be. Sometimes there will be bugs. Bugs need to be fixed before the game can be released. All right. Well, that's going to increase our cost. Our development cost and time. So we'll have to be careful with that. Uh, okay, stage two. Level design or... Okay, AI, dialogues, and level design. Okay, dialogues going to be a bit low. A bit lower, just because it will be an arcade game. Level design, a bit more, because obviously we need a lot of that. That is an arcade game, so it's pretty much based on only that. And some smart AIs. Smart enemy AIs. Let's see how this works out. Then we search for technology. Okay, so far technology and design are equal. Uh, select features. <laughs> right now you can only pick basic sounds. We have to start somewhere. Uh, okay. It will increase the cost if we need to put some more features, some more fancy features. We also see the graphic type you selected. Uh, when you define the game, this is just to remind you of your choice. You cannot change the type of graphics mid-game. Okay, yeah, it's just a reminder just to see what I can focus on. It's good. Okay, so world design, graphics, or s and sound. Okay, maybe a bit more sound. More world design and graphics, just going to be a bit lower. Yeah, that's good. I'm going to put it that way. 
Yeah, good thing I chose the PC because we already lost like half of our money. Right, the development is finished. Press the finish button to publish your game, but you should only do that once you fix the majority of bugs. Well, we have five. Should be fairly quick. Missing game without fixing bugs can severely affect your ratings. So yeah, so we have to take that into account. The ratings. Never consider... Should only consider... If you need the cash and you can't afford... Okay. Right, let's wait a little bit more. And... Also, we improved our design. While we were doing that. <laughs> in one small technology point in the end. Alright, finish. I like how you can... Just choose how much time you want to dedicate to the end. To the polishing of the game. Pretty cool. Okay, the game is now finished. With developing games, you should gain experience and improve your skills. When development is completed, you will be presented with a summary of the experience gained. Okay, let's see how much we gained. Mega Kid is complete! Great combo, apparently. Okay, so far it seems that the level design is our specialty. Right, release. Good judgment. Right, thank you, game. Okay, we'll be ended off to publishing. We should see reviews and sale coming in for the game soon. You finished your first game! While you develop the game, you also gain research points. You can use these points to unlock new options. Uh, bring your research menu, close this message, and then click anywhere on the screen. Okay. Oh, there we go. So now we can research stuff. And we can have an history of our own games. Research is important to unlock new options and make better games. Just try to save uh, enough... Okay, enough research points to be able to create your own game engine. This will greatly improve your games. Okay, so we have to make some different games uh, in order to make more research points. Alright, let's research a new topic. Let's see, we have racing, fantasy, pirate, and sci-fi. Um, hmm. I guess, no, not sci-fi, we have space, which is, well, it's not the same, but it is pretty much in the same category, if you know what I mean. We'll go with pirate. Yar. We shall go with pirates. The first review for a newly res res released game, Mega Kid, came in. Oh, seven. All right. I was about to say six. And an eight. Wow. That is very good for a first game. Seven! <laughs> Could have been more. Alright. Gaming Giants, a newcomer in the game industry, has just released their first game, Mega Kid. The game received favorable reviews. With such a good start, Gaming Giants are sure to gain fans quickly. Alright, this is cool. We have a good start. Okay, so first week, 4,749 units. We made it into the charts, number 41. Okay, well, I'm glad that we made a good first game, because sometimes, first games, it makes the initial impression to the company, so... So there we go. So we have a good start. That is very good. Now your game is on sale, you should, you should receive the income every week. Mega Kid was so successful that we now have 26 fans! Alright. Now we have Parrot. Let's see how much sales... Oh god! We sold 23,000! Achieved a company sales record. Well, I hope so. <laughs> because be before, it was zero. It's an important milestone in the history of gaming giants. Because your first game is actually selling. That'll be quite sad, our first game 
Zero copies sold. This will be the worst nightmare. Alright, so. Let's see if we can do some other stuff while we wait. Wow. We like doubled our money. Well, not doubled, but we're pretty close to doubling it. Let's make a new game. Just right now, before we finish this episode. Let's see. This game is going to be a pirate game. It's going to be... Uh... Beard Clash. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing anymore. Uh, alright, pirate. Big genre. Action, adventure. Mm. Let's see. Be RPG. Pirate RPG, not sure if that's going to work that well. Uh, other action game. And this time... Make a game for the G64 since it has gained mark market share and... Yeah, it's going to be better if we develop with the, for that. 2D graphics, as always. Okay, this time we're going to set some more story in there. Maybe a bit less gameplay. And engine just like that. All right. Recent market studies suggest that the governor's uh, G64 is steadily outselling competitors in the PC sector. Well, good news! We are now developing for that. Consumers prefer the lower price, greater availability, and the flexible hardware over the own computers. <laughs> Experts say that this might spell the end of competing hardware manufacturers. Yeah, that won't happen. I can tell you that. I watched Total Biscuits stream on this game and god, the competition is pretty fierce later on on the consoles. Alright, a bit more dialogue for this game. A little bit less level design and... No wait, maybe less AIs and more level design. There we go. Alright, stage 3. Mega Kid is still selling! <laughs> My god! Alright, world design a little bit more, graphics as well, sound a little bit less. Okay, it's now off. 19,000 units. Pretty good. That's our first game, mind you. Alright, just finishing up. I'll just let it, I'll just let him polish the game just a little bit before we release it. Maybe one more point. Go on, you can do it. Just one more. Uh, Japanese company, Ninvento, is planning to launch its very own gaming console. There we go. Uh, successful arcade game, Dinky King. I'm just going to pretend that this stuff is actually not made up to pass it on the copyright. Uh, okay. Wait, one more point, please. Alright, oh, well, screw it. <laughs> okay, let's see. Engine, gameplay. Okay, so far it's story that we are the best at. Oh, level design's better. A little bit better. Okay, sound. Apparently sound is our best. In this game. Alright, first reviews. Come on. Good reviews. Give me an 8. 4! <laughs> My god! 3. Oh boy, that didn't do well. No, Beer Clash is a failure. My god. Let's hope this sells well, anyways. Okay, first week wasn't too great compared to the other game. Oh, contract work! Alright, I'm in the contracting business and we could use skills like yours. If you are ever short on cash, just let me know and I will see if I have some work for you. Alright, so if we happen to need money, 
and we can develop a new game, then we'll be able to use the contracts. Right, Beer Clash sold better in the second week. Okay, now it's going lower. Okay, rumors they're going to launch the test, which is this pretty much a NES. Uh, Cartridge based games and a uniquely designed controller. Alright, cool. Probably going to develop for that if we have the money. So, yeah, so we're just going to wait until Beer Clash goes out of business. Oh, we wait, um, I think we're just going to make. find some contract. This going this is going to be a longer episode. I'm going to plan for about 17 minutes long episodes. Just so you know. Decide carefully. If you miss the deadline, you will have to pay a penalty. Alright, playtest the game. Okay, let's see the other ones. Character design. Debug program. Okay, let's playtest. We are gamers, we play games on YouTube, so that's going to be the first thing that we do. Test the game. Thank you. Oh. Hi Gabriel, we are the creators of Dave Game Dev Tycoon. And we would like to thank you very much for purchasing the game and supporting us. Well, thank you guys for making such an awesome game. I want to thank you. So first, first game, and it means a lot to us if you are enjoying it. With your purchase, you support the or little startup, and this will be hopefully, this will hopefully make sure we can bring you more games in the future. Right? Seriously, you rock! Thank you much. Thank you very much, and have fun with Game Dev Tycoon, Patrick and Daniel Clog. Thank you for making this game, and I wish you luck. Good luck into Green Hard Games. If you happen to see this video. Right. So that is the end of our episode. Just end our contract here, and then I'll just stop recording. I know it's been too long, but this game is too good. Alright, we'll hire again. 19,000. Okay, excellent work. Usually I have new contracts every six months, so check back. So yeah, so that is the end of the episode. Come on, stop distracting me, game. Okay, we sold 8,000 units. Yeah, I think that's worse than the other game. But still, we managed to make some revenue. So yeah, so thank you all for watching. And on that, I'm going to see you all next time for some more game developing action.